Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this fourth video of bonus and right issue chapter, we are going to solve this bonus question which was asked in January 2021 CA Inter paper. But before watching this video, please make sure you have watched the previous videos of this chapter, okay, where we have discussed the entire concept of bonus and we have solved three problem of bonus, right? This is the fourth problem of our series. And one more question is there if you want you can watch that that is in the redemption of preference share chapter number eight video in that also there is a, you know redemption of preference share problem plus there is a bonus issue okay in exam that kind of question can also come all right so now let's start this video and let's understand the question first now see here following items appear in the trial balance of star limited as on 31st march 2019 okay 80,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each rupees 8 paid up 6 lakh 40 thousand this is equity share capital and the main thing is the equity shares are partly paid up rupees 8 paid up the face value is rupees 10 so pending is 2 rupees isn't it so now what you have to do you have to read the whole question there can be two things that can happen in the question the first is you know the comp the question will tell you that company has made a final call received all the money yeah and you know the shares are fully paid up afterwards and then the company is going for bonus issue of fully paid up bonus shares right that's the first option the second option is the question can tell you that the company is going for a bonus call bonus call mean means converting the partly paid up shares into fully paid up without receiving any money from the shareholders yeah by way of bonus free of call by utilizing the reserves they are you know converting the shares into fully paid up the bonus call okay two things can be there you will come to know that after reading the whole question so let's do that is that clear simple and then see the second point the second point is very important see the second point properly capital reserve including rupees 45,000 being profit on sale of machinery 1,10,000 what is happening over here in the question they have given us capital reserve of 1,10,000 and they are saying that out of this 1,10,000 only 45,000 is profit on sale of machinery what is the interpretation of this the interpretation is that out of this 110000 only 45000 is realized in cash because they have sold machinery now whatever profit they have made they have taken it to capital reserve so when they sold the machinery that was in cash that was in cash so that capital reserve of 45000 now is realized in cash the remaining see here remaining 110 minus 45 the remaining 65000 is what not realized in cash yeah so this 65,000 you cannot use that for issue of fully paid up bonus shares and also the bonus call if there is a bonus call okay so how much you can use you can only use 45,000 you can only use 45,000 because you all know you all know that in the bonus we can use capital reserve which is only realized in cash yeah See here also you can use capital reserve in converting partly paid up shares into fully paid up here also you can use CR only which is realized in cash only which is realized in cash the remaining whatever is there you cannot use that okay same rule apply on capital reserve as well as securities premium the rest will be cash realized only the CRR and the other reserves okay fine now see here next next point revaluation reserve 80,000 can you use revaluation reserve I have told you several times revaluation reserve cannot be used for bonus because it's an unrealized reserve yeah it's an unrealized reserve is that clear okay next we have crr capital redemption reserve 75000 can we use this of course we can use this yeah we can use this securities premium 60000 can we use securities premium 60000 the question is silent question is not saying anything regarding securities premium but what we have to do i've told you whenever the question is silent regarding securities premium you have to assume it is what it is realized in cash you can use it whenever the question is silent okay securities premium 60,000 you can use it and then general reserve and profit and loss of course you can use it there is no doubt about that those are free reserves okay you cannot use the revaluation reserve fine okay now see on 1st April 2019 the company has made a final call on equity shares at rupees 2 per share now here you come to know that company is going for a conventional a normal final call and receiving the money to make the equity shares fully paid up and then go for issue of fully paid up bonus shares right you will come to know see how the entire money was received in the month of april 
made the final call, received the money, and then they are saying on 1st June 2019, the company decided to issue to equity shareholders bonus shares, right? Issue bonus shares. They are saying issue bonus shares. That means they are going for which bonus? The first bonus, issuing fully paid up bonus shares. Two entries you have to pass. Now let's see what is the ratio. At the rate of two, at the rate of two shares for every five. So what is the ratio? The ratio is two is to five, right? So now let's calculate what are the existing shares? 80,000. So 80,000 into two divided by five. Two by five, so two divided by five. That means 32,000 shares, yeah? If you have five shares in the company, you will be given additional two shares, two for every five, okay? So 32,000 new shares will come into the picture, bonus shares, is that clear? Simple. Shares held, and for this purpose, it decided that there should be a minimum reduction in free reserves, yeah? That's a normal thing. Because in bonus, we have a, what? A priority, yeah, a sequence. We will use the free reserve at last. First we use CRR and then we use SP and then we use CR which are realized in cash and then we use free reserves in any order. Free reserves in any order. So this sequence we follow. That is why of course always what will happen? You know free reserves will be utilized at last. So there will always be a minimum reduction in free reserves. Clear? Easy. Pass the necessary general entries in the books of Star Limited. Let's do that. Now see here we have the general entries. Uh, which entries are you going to pass first? First the question has told you what the company has done. On 1st April 2019 the company has made a final call. So what you have to do, you have to pass the due entry of final call. And then of course what will happen? You will receive the money from the shareholders. Right? The entire money was received in the month of April 2019. So two entries you have to pass regarding the final call. Making the final call due and then receiving the money. Right. So what's the entry? You all know really simple entries. Equity share final call account debit 160,000. How 160,000 sir? How 160,000? See, 80,000 total shares were there. What was the pending amount? Rupees 2 per share. Rupees 2 per share. Isn't it? They were 8 paid up. Face value is 10. So rupees 2. So into 2 that's equal to 160,000. Okay. That's the value. So 160, 160. What is happening over here? Equity share final call account debit to equity share capital. Capital has been increased. Yeah. The shares are fully paid up. So then we will receive the money bank account debit. Okay. Bank account debit. Bank account debit to equity share final call account. So equity share final call account got cancelled because that was just a temporary account just for the final call. Final call is over. Money has been received. So we had to cancel that. Here it was debited. Here it is credited. It's over. So ultimately what happened? We got the money 160,000, bank account was debited and capital got increased by 160,000. That is how the shares are fully paid up, yeah, made fully paid up, right? So then we know bonus happened, issue of fully paid up bonus shares, right? So bonus share calculation, 80,000 existing shares into two by five, the ratio 32,000 shares in, what do you say? Only the bonus shares, 32,000. Now what is the value of the bonus? You all know bonus is always what? it is fully paid up right so if it is fully paid up then then you know the value is 10 yeah per share so 32,000 into 10 that's equal to 3 lakh 20,000 clear 32,000 bonus shares into face value 10 that's equal to 3 lakh 20,000 and then and then you have to proceed ahead with the journal entries for bonus you all know what's the first entry the first entry is you know utilization of reserves we decrease the reserves transfer the value to a temporary dummy account called as bonus to equity shareholders right so now you have to see properly how much money do we need from from reserves so how much money do we need the bonus value three lakh twenty thousand let's see in the question how we can utilize that it's really simple see we need three lakh twenty thousand okay we can take that from crr from sp from general reserve prof from profit and loss isn't it these are the options we have but, but there is a proper sequence. You all know first we can utilize CRR. Then we can touch what securities premium. And then we can touch capital reserve. Okay. We can touch capital reserve. And then only we can come to the free reserve. That's the sequence, isn't it? So we need how much? 3,20,000, isn't it? Yeah. So let's utilize the CRR. How much CRR we can take? 75,000 entirely. Let's take that. Minus 75,000. How much more do we still need? 2,45,000. Like 
so let's use securities premium okay it's 60,000 now right? so completely we'll use 60,000 so 245 okay 245 minus 60,000 one like 85,000 more so let's utilize capital reserve yeah we need one like 85,000 now so let's utilize capital reserve how much we can use from capital reserve can we take one like 10,000 no 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 only 45,000 capital reserve is realized in cash so we can only take 45,000 okay so minus 45,000 all right so one lakh 40,000 more we need now this one lakh 40,000 you can take from free reserve free reserve means general reserve and profit and loss now there is no sequence you can take however you like you know first general reserve then profit and loss or vice versa yeah first profit and loss then general reserve in any order there is no sequence there is no strict rule or anything in the company's act is that clear simple so now see the general entry now let's go to the general entry really simple see here the general entry capital redemption reserve account first we utilize the crr completely 75000 we debited that and then we utilize the securities premium 60000 debit that we are utilizing the reserves now reserves are decreasing okay securities premium account debit 60000 and then we used capital reserve how much we can only use 45000 so we used only 45000 and the remaining was 140 the balancing figure at last whatever that was left that has to come out of free reserves in any order sorry 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 it's 140000 yeah 140000 okay i press something so it became something else so 140000 all right so that 140000 you can take either from you know only from general reserve as you have to like 10000 or what you can do you can take from profit and loss 1 lakh and remaining 40,000 from general reserve in any order you like okay you will not lose any marks you can follow whatever you like is that clear so this 1 lakh 40,000 we have taken in the module also it's like that sorry not in the module in the suggested solution it is 1 lakh 40,000 from the general reserve okay right so once you have debited all the reserve this value will be credited it will go to bonus to equity shareholders account as you all know so this account will be credited it's an equity account okay this bonus to equity shareholders account is increasing so it is credited over here and then in the very next entry what you will do you have to increase the capital you have decreased the reserve in the very next entry you have to increase the capital so this bonus to equity shareholders account have to be cancelled isn't it so that is why here it was credited you will make an equal debit bonus to equity shareholders account debit and then you will ultimately transfer the value to equity share capital account equity share capital account will be credited 3 lakh 20 thousand easy so what happened the net effect is reserves got decreased and capital increased bonus issue issue of fully paid up bonus shares and number of number of shares also increased isn't it yes so now here's some notes see here the you know the first point is regarding the capital reserve that 45,000 is realized in cash okay considering it as free reserve as it has been realized okay and then uh, general reserve regarding the this point also see alternatively different combination of profit and loss balance as I said now you could take 1 lakh from profit and loss and 40,000 from general reserve yeah any order you like different combination of profit and loss balance and general reserve may also be utilized okay here is that clear simple so these were the general entries that you have to pass in this question really simple and straightforward question the only tricky part was regarding the capital reserve they said only 45,000 is been realized in cash but they told you in a different way they told you regarding plant and machinery so you have to understand machinery is sold in cash now so that 45,000 has come in cash and that has been transferred to capital reserve so only 45,000 capital reserve is realized in cash okay so that's it so that's it for this video okay see you in the next video bye